Hey, everybody. What's today? That's right. It's Friday. So guess what we're going to do? We got a little something, something going on. You're going to have to stick around and find out what it is. But right now, we're going to get us some worms. That's what we're on. We're on a mission for worms. We're actually going to see if finish castings out of the bathtub bin. And we're going to get us some worms in this little bit of cup here. Right here, we're going to put some worms in there. And we're going to dump our big ones in here put them back in the bathtub bin i'm just going on the other side of the uh spot that we did last last time so uh last time i showed you me cleaning the bin the, the bathtub out now you get to watch me sift so uh yeah here we go let's uh let's get some and see what happens Too many big worms in here. I don't believe. Not so far, but we'll pick out the ones we want and we'll keep them. And we'll take them over here. I need my black. And that's all I'm really after today is worms. I ain't even worried about the castings. I may dump them right back in the <laughs> bathtub for right now. I, I don't know yet. I'm just on a worm hunt. I need some worms. We got a new little thing to play with. And we got to have some worms. So that's all we're hunting. Keep going and get my hand in here. I'm gonna put my glove on. Mm -hmm.
Alright. I'm gonna sit down a little bit and see what's left. Bunch of juveniles in here, but nothing of any remarkable size. So that's good. I mean, we're getting the bigger ones. So that's good. I don't know where all my adults are, but we'll run into some here in a minute, I guess.
Looking pretty good. I'd rather just hand pick them. Um, and then sift it or something. I don't know. It's a little bit... I think it's a little bit less traumatic on the worm. I try to keep my worms happy. Because the last time we sifted, uh, I set them in a bin and they were mad and went to go take off on me. So, anyway. Alright. Alright, let's get some more. Keep going, I guess. Uh, I don't want to dig out my camera foot in here. That's something else we gotta do. We gotta feed this bathtub at some point in time. Pretty full, cool, yeah.
I don't know. Is these, I guess, enough? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's enough or not. I think that's enough. We'll be all right. Yeah. I think that'll be all we need. Wind up with that. Like I said, it's still got juveniles in it. It went through the quarter inch. I'm not sifting anything smaller than that. I don't see anything big enough for me to worry about picking up again and putting back in the other bin, so, yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. Alright. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you know what today is. Today is, yeah, this is it. I've been waiting. They, uh, <laughs> They sent it to three other cities uh, all around me. It come by me about three times. And people wonder why I'm not going to mail worms to somebody. Yeah, this thing is so big around the world. It's got many miles on it. It's two or three days late. But guess what? It's here. So, this is our fun little project that we're going to create. And it's the mini worm hunt. Uh, so, yeah. Little mini worm hut. So yeah, it's uh it's got some instructions with it. You can read the instructions. Okay, so it's got a little lid to it. Yeah. And it's got a little spigot here that we gotta install. So it's got a little gasket in here somewhere. Yeah, right there. A little rubber gasket we gotta put on, but it's got one working bin. Right here. So, got one bin there. We got a second working bin right here. Uh -huh. So, those bins won't get put into use until we get this bin started. So, this is another one of those um, patient things. Have to be patient. So, I'm already not liking it. But anyway, yeah, so we got to start the first tray off, and then as it gets built, then we move up and get the uh, uh, second bin set on top of it, and they migrate up, you know, how it goes. So, uh, well, that's okay. I'll be patient. <laughs> well, that's one thing this has taught me is patience. So we're going to install this little spick in here. I guess we're going to install it. I don't know. Hold on. All right, so we've got the, this bin here, which will be our working bin. Then you got the catch tray that is angled down to help the fluid run out to this little spigot. So we're going to see how the machine shop, whatever country this was made in, and see how the machine shop works out with it. Reminds me of a little machine in here in America. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, Huh? Yeah, yeah, boy. Uh -huh. I'm just screw that sucker on to about right there, cause you don't want to overstress any of this stuff. I tell you that now. Maybe get the super glue out. 
Spigot installed. And that's the case. The juice. <laughs> yes. So we reinstall this back in the little tray. Like that. And I take number one working bin. By the way, I've already read the instructions. Because I've never ran a bin like this. So this is my first time for this. My first time. That's one reason why I bought one of these little bitty cheapo things. Is because I didn't want to get all crazy. So, little man goes in. Now, the instructions said to place a piece of newspaper in the bottom of the bin to hold the um, bedding and worms and everything. It'll eventually disintegrate, and then we'll start with our uh, catching of the leachate at the bottom of it. Not, not, not worm tea. Everybody wants to call that worm tea. That's not worm tea. The stuff that runs out of this thing into the bottom of this thing comes out of this thing. Is not le uh, uh, worm tea. It's called leachate. It's a totally different thing. So, uh, yeah, I think. I'm going to have to make a little modification on the paper. I try to be good, but it didn't work. Yeah, I'll do like that. Mm hmm. And I may have had cycle. I'll do like this. Oh, yeah. That custom fit there. So anyway, it said it's supposed to run up the sides a little bit or whatever. So guess what? That's what it does. And I'm okay with that. Right there. Mm-hmm. Now we need some bedding. So this is gonna be the bedding. Uh, Favorite little blend of bedding. Right there like that. It said two to four inches. So. I think it needs more than that. Let's give them some more. I'm over here trying to run things bigger. And I went and got this little mini micro thingy. Oh, it's all right. It's cute. It'll be a fun little thing to do. I believe. So, yeah. Let's see. I like that. That's looking good. And then we're going to put a little agua to it because it's still a little dry. So, that's what we're going to do with that. A little water grog in there. Get everything nice and goopy. Wet. Too wet. Not well enough. Mm hmm. That paper will suck that up. That'll help get that done. Mm hmm. Yeah, see, it's still dry in some places. Gotta get my hands on it. I always gotta get my hands on it, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think we need some more. A little, little splash in there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. If we get it too wet, what do we do, ladies and gentlemen? We can always add a little bit more bedding. So it's okay. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I like this. Mm hmm. packing paper to come with it. That's what that is. That's that's the old uh, uh, Amazon, eBay, packing paper stuff. So we're recycling some paper today. So yeah. And I'm going to add, I am going to add some cardboard to this too. We're going to do a cardboard uh, natural bedding uh, mixture thingy. So, you know, just to I don't know, just do something totally, totally different. That's, that's what we're going to do. So we are going to add a little bit of, little bit of cardboard to it. And that was what we had left from the cardboard natural comparison thing that we are about done with it. 
Uh, we're gonna just let it. Uh, we're just gonna let it let it go like it is, and wish it well. It does what it does now, so I, I'm okay with that. A little water in that, and then we're gonna mix it all in here. So we're gonna give this a good mixing. Get that cardboard in there too. That'll help keep the ground. I mean the uh, bedding um, air ready good. And so uh, yeah, we're probably gonna put some more cardboard in here later. Next time we touch it, we'll probably add some more cardboard and paper, or at least cardboard. So, uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good there. So now, let's get our children for their new, their new little home. So, yeah, let's have a look here. Little finished castings in the, in, in the container too for them, so that's even better. So, all right. Huh? And then we got, oh yeah, we got a good amount, real good amount there, so I think that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, fair. Fair little number, what was a couple little cups of, uh, <laughs> couple little cups of bedding out of the bathtub. <laughs> we wound up with that, yeah. So, uh, let me see if we can get you down here where, where we're at, where we're working, what we're working with. So, yeah, that's, uh. That's the worms, and then that's the little that's the little container, and so uh, we're gonna leave the light on them for a little bit, and let them settle down, and get uh get into their home here, and uh, let me see, I'll get you like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll let them get we'll let them get settled in a little bit here, and. Uh, Drop down in there to their new little home and everybody be happy and all that good stuff. I always make a mess when I set a bin in there. I don't know what that's about. Huh. Always making a mess. That's a good thing that's in the worm room, right? I told y'all, the worming is dirty. That's why we call it a dirty joke. So. We're not gonna feed them. I don't feed them when I set a bin. The first thing I do is I don't feed them. I let them get in and get acclimated first. That's the main thing to do. Don't worry about feeding them. They're not gonna starve to death. They got some paper, some cardboard. They got bedding in there to eat. They got plenty to eat. I don't even have to feed them any of that, anything. Actually, they can eat off of that. So, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Now the other two bins, they're gonna be set to the side till we get into a working situation. And uh, you know, once this gets ran off. We'll load another tray on top, load it with fresh bedding and food, and we'll bring them from the bottom up. And that's how this little tray system, worm factory um, kind of situation, what, perma huts, they all work under the same pretenses. So, you know, um, that's what we got to do. This is a patient thing. I can't load it up like I want to full of 11 million worms and try to hurry them along or I'll mess it up because they won't have to. It won't have time to work the bottom half, and I'll be trying to force them up and the whole nine yards, and I, I don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to definitely just try to uh, get them acclimated first. But, yeah, the other bins, you see, though, they've got holes in the bottom, and this bin will actually go in. And Anybody that doesn't know how these things work, this this is the bin here. Now that's this bin's got holes on the bottom too. That's why I had to that's why I had to cover it up with the paper was to help this bin get set up and get it working first. And eventually that paper will decay, they'll eat it and everything, and the that'll be actually open to the bottom. And um this bin, once this works, I'll set this down in on top of this bin and let it rest right on top of the finished castings. And I'll load fresh bedding and food and bedding and, cup, you know, bring it up about right in here somewhere and let them come from the bottom bin up to the top bin. And then basically I'm upward migrating the worms. They'll come into the upper half and then we'll we'll work it. We'll let it work off till it gets up here. Then that's where a tray 
That's where tray three comes in town, right? Right there. Tray three goes in here, you see, and we set it. Now we're drawing off of the bottom bin through the second bin into the top bin, trying to clean out the bottom bin completely. Once these bins get to working, then I would pull these two bins back out and I'll be left with finished castings. And that's a whole lot easier than sifting. That's a whole lot easier than light uh, sifting. That's a whole lot easier than anything else is to, to migrate them. So, and you gotta force them. So we're gonna try it. I've never ran a system like this before. And hey, guess what? It may screw up, kill everybody in the house, but we're gonna try. We're gonna let them, <laughs> we're gonna let them run. Let them go with it. The paper was put in the bottom to keep the worms from winding up down in this tray. Now we've got a little bit of fluid already in there for me putting the water in. So, yeah. So this, this should be able to maintain a moisture level, maybe a little bit easier. You're not going to be so quite apt to um, overwater it because the water's going to run all the way through and hit this tray and you'll be able to raise this little nozzle up on the end right here and dump it out so you know uh, we're gonna try it i mean it's it's i uh, we'll try it it cost uh i don't even remember now i think it was like 50 bucks for this little play toy and uh like i said before i've 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 wasted squandered 50 dollars on a weekend for something stupider than this so yeah this is worm related so this is awesome so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it we're going to try it out and see how it goes. And uh, y'all can come along with us while we're doing it. So that's even funner, see? Uh -huh. Y'all can live vicariously through me and my mistakes. And maybe learn a little something and be like, yeah, I'm not going to do like that big dummy did. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it's really cool, though. I, I, I'm liking it. So yeah, we're just going to pop the old lid on here. Now, who's this made by? Uh, Global Worm. Globalwormroom.com is who it's made by. I don't doubt you can even see that. So we're not even going to try that again. So, uh, but yeah. I will put a link to this. It's off, uh, I think, eBay or Amazon. One or two. I will put a link to that in, in, in the description. So that you can uh, try to, uh, to find it. It'll be easier for you to find because I don't even think there's a company name on this pamphlet here. But it's got little instructions with it to tell you how to put it together. And, I mean, it's actually some pretty good info in here, actually. It shows you a little, shows you a little uh, diagram of it, you know, how it, what, how it stacks and everything. And then you actually get in here, and there's uh, preparation instructions, uh, materials, uh, preparation, uh, caring, how to feed for them, uh, check it up on them. Uh, how to maintain it. Um, let's see, what else? Here's some more. Let's see. Uh, uh, when to add the next tray is on here. Um, several uh, common pests and problems with worm farming, which is ants, rats, earwigs, snakes. Uh, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. Um, Last one is uh, a schematical diagramical of how to stack them and names the parts and pieces. And, uh, and that's it. It's really that simple. So, yeah. That's cool, though. I think it's like uh, 12 inches, 9 inches, or it's 12 inches. Yeah, it's 12 inches tall, I think, putting it all together. It's only a foot tall. I think it's uh, 8 inches wide and 9 inches long. So, hey, that's really cool. I mean, it's not... It's, it's that big. So, yeah, I'm cool with that. And uh, it'll be something to play with. Like I said, we, you know, we can check in on it and check it and feed it and do all that good stuff. So, I'm liking it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it right there. So, uh, yeah, we scavenged up some worms out of there. And uh, I may scavenge some more. I don't know yet. We may, we may get another load and uh, dump them in here and just really beef the population up in this thing and make it a make it a, a, a food eating sucker so yeah that may be something we do we may just make this thing a monster <laughs> something crazy i mean it's it's not big enough to get real crazy no i can't put a thousand worms in here well i could but uh you know but now if we get a second trade going right yes we could probably 
Yes, we could probably run, you know, 500 worms in each tray if I wanted to and keep rotating them and trying to split the population out in every next new tray. So, you know, but uh, we just sort of gobble them in there. I mean, we're good. I may swap some more out and uh, throw some more in there later it just, if it doesn't seem like it's eating fast enough for me. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, this would be cool for a single person in like a little apartment or something or your kids you want to get your kids into it this is the perfect kid thing right here this would probably be the ticket right here for the kids situation so uh, you know anybody thinking about getting their youngins into it or something this would probably be the ticket right here i mean it's not complicated and it's really simple and and and, and, and it and it's awesome so i like it so we'll try to lead thing i always run leaves on my bins anyway so this is not going to be a problem for me and plus, we have the drainage down below, so you don't have to worry about any overcondensation or anything, you know, with the food decomposing and, and the water from it and just everything else. I think this is going to be your safety catch here is going to be this, this little drain nozzle right here on the bottom. So that I, th I think that would be also really helpful for, for, for a kid. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's really cute. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's, it's just a little thing. There she is. Sitting there just, you know, like I said, it's not that big. So, you know, what do we got? We got a drink bottle here? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, that's how tall it is. 20 ounce. Yeah, mm-hmm. And that's how long it is. Mm-hmm. 20 ounce. So, yeah, yeah. I like it. And you like it too, don't you? Mm-hmm. So, if you like it, you know what you got to do. Throw the thumbs up. Give us a like. If you like, like what we're doing and you want to come back and check out how this little experiment thing, play toy thing it goes, guess what? All you got to do is what? That's right. All you got to do is subscribe. So it's not that hard. Just hit the subscribe button and then you'll be subscribed. You probably already subscribed to a bunch of channels anyway, right? So this one's the one of the best ones to subscribe to too. So hey, guess what? I won't have to show up at your house on Sunday and, you know, must be shows my flip flops and trying to find out where your sister lives. So yeah, all right, awesome. Hey, listen, I appreciate everybody. Y'all have a good one. I hope everybody has a good weekend. We're gonna slam one out tonight. We're probably gonna go through a couple more bins. We got some bins to feed. We got big purple to feed on the bottom. Um, probably the hatchery bin, the two hundred worm worm bin, and we probably gonna monster feed the bathtub bin just for fun of it. I got some food that needs to get gone anyway, so we're probably gonna jam it up. Plus, I want to turn it over and take a look at it and see how it's really doing. So uh, that's something we're going to do on the new side that we just refilled and reset. And uh, I may go on and strip this other side out and reset it with some fresh bedding too. So that might be something we'll get into tonight. So anyway, I hope everybody has a good weekend. Thank you for checking us out. Give us a like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Yep, yep. And that's right. And guess what? We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.